Hello art students. Today I'm going to show you how to edit the images that you selected from the internet for your stencil design using the app called Pixlr Editor. The first thing we need to do is download the folder that we placed the images in to the desktop of the computer. Pixlr Editor will only open the photos if they're in the desktop or on the desktop. So here is my folder. It says Brand Art 2 Stencils. When I select it, and click on these three dots, which means more actions, I give the option to download it. It's preparing a zip file, which is just a compressed file of all of the images. It comes up on the bottom here, and I can drag it to my desktop, and then I see it right here. If I double click it, it'll open up as a folder of images. From your Art2 folder, you need to go to New, More, Pixlr Editor. When the app opens, the first thing you want to do is create a new image. The image that you create needs to be a specific size. The pixel dimensions for an 8.5 by 11 image is 1275 by 1650 and then you can title it your name and then stencil image and say okay the image that I want to do is going to be a horizontal image so now I need to go to image rotate canvas clockwise if yours is going to be a vertical image, then you can leave it the way that it starts. Okay, so now I'm going to open my image from the desktop. I find the folder brand art two stencil images, and the image I want to work with is a screenshot I did of this eye. We're going to use a few of the tools that we see in Pixlr Editor. The first tool is the layers background. Right now this layer is locked, meaning I can't erase any of this white that's around my eye. So I need to double click that so that I get a check mark and then I'm going to use my magic wand tool. And then I'm gonna click on the white area. I get a marquee and I'm just going to hit delete on the keyboard. So now all I have is the black part of the eye. And then I can go to deselect all and the dotted lines go away. Now I'm going to take my rectangular marquee and draw a box around my eye and I'm going to go to edit copy come back to my stencil image file and go edit paste. So now I have one eye in my image. I want to have two eyes so now I'm going to copy it again and paste it again. If I go to my move tool, which is this arrow, you can see that I have two eyes. So now I want to flip the eye that's on the left so that it looks like a pair of eyes. So I need to make sure that I'm on that layer and I can tell because when I move it, layer one is the left eye and then I'm going to go layer, flip layer horizontal and there I have it. I want the eyes to be turned a little bit, so I'm going to go edit, free transform, and if I click a corner, I get a little circular arrow, so I'm going to turn it slightly, and then just hit enter. I want to do the same thing to layer 2, so I click on layer 2, edit, free transform, and get the little circle arrow, and turn it, and hit enter. I think this pair of eyes looks pretty good. So if I go to layer, I can merge down and then layer one and two become one layer. If I go to edit, free transform, and I grab a corner while holding the button shift on your keyboard, this will keep my proportions. I can stretch my eyes and make them larger because I want them to be as big as I can get them. 
and then if you click anywhere on the image it'll ask you if you want to apply the changes and you can say yes or you can hit enter all right the next thing I want to do is get rid of this little circle that's in here because I want to add a different image so I'm gonna to go to my rectangular marquee and I'm gonna select the oval and I'm gonna draw a circle around it and right now black is my color so I'm gonna click on the paint bucket and I'm just going to paint that black edit deselect now I'm going to do the same thing over here paint bucket and then edit deselect you can use this to make it larger or smaller um, I don't like how I'm still having that ring so let's try using the paintbrush and I can try to paint that out of there as well so you could also use the paintbrush instead of the paint bucket okay the next image I'm going to work with is that of a dollar sign so I'm gonna say open image and find that file same thing I don't want this white background so I'm going to double click on my lock and then I'm going to grab my wand tool click on the background and delete click on that white part and delete click on this white part and delete edit deselect all now I want this dollar sign to be white so that it shows up in the eyes so I'm going to click on the dollar sign come over here to my color palette click on it bring the lightness all the way to 100 and I get white here and then I'll use my paint bucket tool to paint my dollar sign and then I go edit deselect all now I can do a rectangular marquee or an oval. Edit copy, go back to my original image, edit paste, use my move tool, and bring that over into the eye. I want to do the same thing for the other eye, so I'm going to go back to my rectangular marquee, edit copy, edit, paste, take it, and move it. And now I have the image that I am going to print out for my stencil. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure that it's saved. So I go to File, Save, bring your quality up to 100, say OK. and now your image is saved. If we go back to our stencil image folder, and let's try to refresh. And we'll see if it has saved in here. And actually, if I go to my drive, it saved it in my drive. I will need to be able to print this out so this file will need to go in the folder that we share with one another so when you are in your drive and you see your image what you want to do is click on it go to the more actions say move to and navigate to that folder that you have shared with me and here is mine and say move now I will have access and be able to print it out so that you can cut out your stencil. Thank you.